and some bugling. Uh, interesting story. Last year, Corey and I hunted for the first time together and actually called me in a, a, a bull elk, my first bull with a bow. Still so excited about that. And then after I got my uh, bull down, we had some cows cross us with another bull, and I was able to stop it with a cow call. Yeah. And uh, you got an elk last year, too. Yep, it was great. It was great. And by 9 o'clock on the first day we hunted, we had two elk down with our bows. It was, it was pretty incredible. No, good time. Uh, one of the things I like to talk about, and i got to tell you, I've hunted my, you know, for the last you know, 20 years, and uh, I've seen a lot of good callers. I think I pride myself on calling elk as well. But Corey is truly one of the best elk callers I've ever heard. And uh, I'm going to have you give a little demonstration in a minute. But, uh, Corey, one of the things that I like is, um, you know, we, we all have different products that we like yeah. to use. This is the Hoochie Mama. This is a Primos call. Yeah. And one of the reasons I like this, I got to meet Will Primos last year at the SHOT Show. So, uh, But it's a great product. you got yours going right yeah, now. Yeah, I have the Hoochie Mama calf call. Okay. The baby Hoochie Mama. Okay. Um, sounds just a little more high-pitched, yeah. a little shorter than that one. So typically when we're out there, I mean, you don't want to just go right in and just let off a big bugle. You know, one of the things that people like to do is go out there and they'll bugle when they get in the elk. And, and one of the things I, I prefer is just, you know, cow call and then getting a the feel for it. Then you can kind of test out the bulls and see if how, how much they want to play with you. So. Yeah. Um, why don't you give a little demonstration? I could sit here and do mine, but i got to tell you, you, you are truly uh, one of the best callers I've heard. So, uh, well, Thanks. Right. Um, what I like to start with is just a cow call. And I like to sound like a, like a herd of elk. I don't like to sound like everyday hunter out on the hill. So... Also carry. So for cow calling, I have a diaphragm. I have my baby hoochie mama. Sounds like a calf. And I also have hot lips. Another Primos call. I don't use it as much. And I'm all tangled up here. I don't use this one as much. Um, but sometimes, when all else fails, this will really get the rules work, you know, worked up. It's kind of weird. It sounds like two cows. Um, I always get a weird look when I use that in front of people, yeah. but it works. Um, yeah. and I was using that actually this morning. Uh, was into a bull elk this morning. Was able to get fairly close, but that was one of the more the, I'd say more of a silent bull. I mean, he bugled a few times, and I was using my cow calls. I actually then threw out a diaphragm bull elk call, did a little bugle, and um, you know he wasn't too vocal. So I think this afternoon I'll go back after him. But let's hear a bull elk call and. Okay. Um, what I do with bugling, I use bugling to try to, bull, try to get a bull to answer me, um, just to locate a bull. That's that's primarily what I use bugling for. Right. Um, or to keep track of a bull. A lot of times a herd bull, he'll he'll bugle at you, and if you bugle back at him, he'll just grab his cows and he'll move away from you. So I try not to bugle much at them. I just right. I just cow call. But every once in a while, you lose track of that bull and you have to bugle to locate him again. Right. And um, but a jealous bull, you can bugle him right in. Last year, it was pr pretty cool that uh, we located that bull with that bugle mm -hmm. last year. Yep. So once we located, it was kind of interesting, you know, the way that it all set up was, you know, we, we were able to work our way, get closer to him, and then we finally got him to bring him in that last little bit with the cow calls. Yes. So that, yep. yeah, that, yep. was, that was I bugled a, probably four times yeah. in that. Probably took us two and a half hours. I'll never forget that day. <laughs> that, was, that was awesome. Let's hear the bull call. And okay. This is going to be a little embarrassing. This isn't nah. the normal call I normally use, so I don't sound as good as normal. I can't hit that quite high pitch with this one. Um, I don't like to sound too big either. I right. like to sound, I like to sound. Yeah, you don't want to intimidate that no, bull out there and run them off. No. I, I've seen people do that. So. Yeah, I, my bugles don't sound pretty, like a big, pretty bull right, elk, right. and I try, I do that on purpose. And I don't use a grunt too, because I don't like to pack extra weight. <laughs> so, <laughs> I use the ground too. Yeah. Doesn't matter. If I have a bull that answers me fast, and every time I bugle he answers me back, I call that a jealous bull. And what I try to do is copy that bull. Right. If he's grunting, I'll grunt. If he's cutting me off, if, if I'm bugling and he bugles over the top of me, I'll wait for him to bugle and I'll bugle over the top of him. Right. And I'll just I'll follow his tempo. I'll let him set the pace. And once I determine that it is a, what I call a jealous bull, I'll actually pick up the pace and try to 
getting worked yeah. up even more. Close the distance. Yeah. Yep. 